Hey coin collectors, today I will show you several circulated Jefferson nickels from 70s. They are all part of our US coins collection. Some dates are missing though, so it's not complete set. So hit subscribe button below this video. And without much ado, let's start with this 1972D nickel. Circulated specimen with significantly abraded surfaces and flows on flans. Mint mark D is indicator that it was struck in Denver. Mint age is over 351 million. Weekly struck specimens like this one are worth face value a few cents higher. Those in higher mint condition with full steps, meaning with immaculate strike, are worth money. In Mint Day 66, worth $150. In Mint Day 67, around $3,000. Here is 1975 Jefferson nickel from Philadelphia, circulated specimen in extremely fine condition. It has much better appealing as compared to previous one. The 1975 Jefferson nickel is very common in circulated condition, as well over 181 million examples were struck. Finding them in circulation should not be difficult, as they don't carry a premium in most grades, only in MS67 and higher. Are they scarce? With full steps in particular, in means they 67 was full steps designation, they're worth over $2,800. Moving on with his 1977 5 cent in circulated condition, was distracting blemishes on obverse and weak strike on reverse. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCJ, the 1977 Jefferson nickel did not come very well struck, even examples in MS65 appear to be scarce. In MS66 it's very difficult to find whether searching for one or buying one, they just don't show up often. Full steps variants are scarce in any condition. In Minstate state 66 was full steps worth $725, in Minstate state 67 $4500. Next one, 1973 Jefferson nickel in extremely fine condition. Strike of device elements is sharp, but here we also have some not worthy dark gray explosions on obverse. In mint state 65 with full steps worth $15. In mint state 66, $110. In mint state 67 with full steps worth around $2,750. Another over-circulated example, this one impressed for year of 1974. The 1974 P. Jefferson nickel is very common up to about MS65 condition. In MS66 condition with a full steps designation, it's really difficult to find and most examples have been purchased by collectors over the years, according to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS. Guiding prices $1,000. There is only one specimen in MS67 FS condition with guiding price of $4,500. Moving on with this 1976D Jefferson nickel with some attractive amber peanut brown hues near the collar on obverse and throughout most surfaces of reverse. Over half billion 1976D Jefferson nickels were struck, so this issue is really common in circulated grades. In uncirculated grades, it's very scarce in MS66 condition or higher, especially in mint state 66 full steps. It's very difficult to find with guiding price of $350. In Minsty 67 FS condition, it's worth over $3,500. And here is 1979 Jefferson nickel from Philadelphia. The 1979P Jefferson nickel is not scarce by any means, either in circulated or even in uncirculated grades of MS60 to MS65, according to PCGS. However, it's very difficult date. And mint mark to find with full steps details on reverse design. MS65 specimens with full steps are worth $250. In mint state 66, 
with FS designation, worth around $850. Thanks for watching the video guys, don't forget to hit the like button, see ya.